I am here. For a specialty video that would probably be something we should have done years ago, kind of did a walkthrough of HH. But now this will be the really the walkthrough. Since there was a fantastic idea from one of our biggest diehard fans that we should get a J Dog pics of an HH sale of from the cart of everything that's going out. So what, whatever the customers grab. So there he is sitting on the job. And we're doing the most half-assed episode that we've ever done. Like what you're asking, like what I like on the cart, or? Well, yeah, there was that uh, die-hard fan that said uh, J, J Dog could pull, you know, just from the cart and say what was, you know, what is, what are his picks from what the customers are buying. You know, what I mean. Well, this is, I mean, the new. There's, there's the there's the new Cannibal. That's cool. Yeah. It's, it's on me. I mean, it's you know, it's Cannibal. Whatever. I really like the uncensored art, which will be on the other LP. So um, and then yeah, recently. Uh, and I agreed. What uh, this freaking booklet it comes with? I mean, I was really impressed by this. But uh, I mean, it's not my favorite cannibal or anything. But I mean, every every I like every. Well, you really loved uh, the the red paint black or some shit. Red before I liked red before the black. Yeah, I like every single album. But I mean, uh, this is definitely not like my favorite one. But uh, the one before this, red before black, I liked a lot. But before that was a skeletal domain, and I really liked that. So we were just recently we were talking about how you, the artwork went downhill. But, but that one looks just, like back up to no, par. So this is kind of like, eh, whatever, cool, kind of like Wretched Spawn yeah. type stuff. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, so actually I have my pre-order package. I pre-ordered my personals. I have multiple versions. I have supposedly, because uh, we, we only got these, where the bone, this is the bone white red vinyl version. There's like a, multiple versions. HH have, exclusive, right? Because the red before black was a HH exclusive. Not these, these aren't HH exclusive, no. but we got them. I had to see. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, kind of. But uh uh, I, on my way, I have uh, theoretically a, a, an LP that has this is the cover art, the uncensored cover, which that I do think is about. Like I think that was, I think that's like the best cover. Is that appropriate like, for YouTube? You think? I don't care if it isn't. <laughs> but uh, dude, you're decked on the CC today, by the way. That's <laughs> a normal day. That's how we roll on. Normal day at the office. It's the uniform. You no, know, I'm like the posters <laughs> that claim they listen to shit when they're in the car. They're jamming. I don't know, ZZ Top or something. I actually, <laughs> I actually uh, listen to what I... You don't have the, uh, if you don't like ZZ Top, fuck you sticker that uh, Reed from uh, Speedwolf did? No, you, but you know what I mean? Like, they got a lot of guys that claim to listen to Death Metal, but they don't. Um, yeah. On their own time. Oh, you know, it, actually, uh, this is, uh, he repressed a lot of stuff J-Dog really likes, but it's not on the car. This guy, Beast of Mockery. This album I, I like, I went in love, but he also pressed the second album by Beast of Mockery, uh, Evoke the Desecrator. Which uh, I'm a huge fan of. We're, and there was that Hell's Headbangers release, Slaying, Slaying Sla Life. That's the third. That's the third album, I believe. So it's first time Christ Crushing Hammer Chainsaw. That's my all-time favorite. Evoke the Desecrator. That's uh, that's really really good. The second album. The third album actually I think is this Gospel the Insane, and I'm like, eh. Like no, I like it, but it's kind of like it was definitely my least favorite by far. Yeah. And then the fourth album was Slaying the Life that we did put out, and I love that too. Yeah, but yeah. I haven't seen one of those in a while, like, it, it for sale, because that's a got eBay, that one. We had the poster on the uh, old Hell's Cast wall. Somebody yeah. bought, uh, I yeah. sold off a lot no, of that's those. A good, that's a good Somebody bought that. Uh, a lot of 15-year-olds listen. I don't think they know Beast of Mockery in general. Yeah. Because I think they're kind of, I think they're done for now. Because that's, that's Slaying the Life's the last record that I know of, and that was, that's years, man. That's got to be a good 10 years, right? Probably. I mean, yeah. that's an old HH release. Probably. That was uh, back at the house. Days. What other um, I've always said, Denial of God. This is my favorite album by them. Horrors really? So you like that more than uh, Horrors of Satan? Which, Probably. Uh, it's just because I knew it so well. I mean, well, I that needs a plug too because uh, HH repressed yeah, this. So I mean that? the 15 year olds can get it. Yeah, yeah. Because they want Because honestly, this, this is 15 years old, right? That, to me, that if, if you're one of these newbies nowadays, you find out about Hellcast and you think you're some black metal cool guy because you just watched the Lords of Chaos movie, so you think you're the most black metal guy on earth. <laughs> this is a man you got about 100%. Out of have it. It's better than half those Norwegian bands. That's mind. Denial of God, Horrors of Satan. Yeah. Available now. Yeah, a they, CD? Or is there a, just the CD or is it LP uh, as no, well? No, we have, we have some LPs left too. Not many though. We not repressed many. it about a year ago, but we're almost sold out of those. But we did repress the CD a few months ago. Um, just, I really like? How did you feel about this Exorcist having a 20 million different versions? It's excessive, but I mean, it's a great album. So, I mean, that, that's, you know, Exorcist and... Original uh, sin. I mean, that's uh, I mean, that stuff's always really enjoyable. How but surprised were you to hear that Glenn Benton would say that that was one of his albums? That I was he... surprised, but it makes sense because that's his time frame. Yeah. Oh, the famous, 
famous Hamage, aka Hemorrhage. Yeah. Always. Yeah, there. maybe we That's can finally explain that joke. Hamage. Because you always just say it. No, I don't think it is. Well, you, called, you took the phone call. Guy plays the oh, phone call. Yeah, there's some like, guy. He's like, yeah, I need Hamage. And you're like, what? Yeah. Hamage. You're like, can you spell that? Yeah. And I was like, oh, Hemorrhage. Yeah, and then there was like, in he said in, uh, in question. In question for English. Like, what? Like, your, yeah, yeah. your English is in question, buddy. <laughs> these are, uh, I think we sold them all of them. I thought it was real cool. Just got these. And I just, you, it's a band called Destruction. It's a destruction, but uh, he did another <laughs> color. He did these fire splatters on all of them, but I think we sold all the fire Dude, splatters. that's got to be like the 10th color that he's done. Yeah, the but I mean, these are cool on there, though. He, yeah, yeah, they're all like separate. Like, I mean, yeah, I mean, so for example, like if like Destruction Sentence of Death's like your all time favorite album, that's what I'm saying. Like, I could see like buying every color of your favorite album. And what I do is like, see, I take them out of these dust covers and I put them in picture to sleep. So when you look at my, like, flip through my records, you see why I own, why this guy have five different copies. Yeah. And so I actually like that from the really classic rounds where they, when they repress it on a different color. You know, it's cool. It's like, it's just, yeah, are you going to listen to all of them? Fuck no, but it's like fucking baseball cards, you know? Yeah. So. Did you listen to this badass? This is a badass album right there. I did. I liked it. Yeah. But I liked that. I liked the band in general. You know, I liked them. I liked it because I liked the previous stuff. So I wasn't too shocked when I heard it. I liked what else we got out here that I really like. J Dog release sold out, of course. Yeah, we talked about that, right? The yeah. Last day of Damn, last. we're really gonna get kicked off YouTube on this one. Yeah. Last days of awesomeness. Oh, but you did the fire splatter on these razors. Yeah, he did. So he did a lot of these. Uh, so he calls them all. No, this is just white red splatter. God damn it! I wanted to show because we just got them. I was gonna say this example is really. Uh, well, they sold out right. We, <laughs> we, we literally just they, they went on Friday. Today's uh, what the fuck's today? Wednesday. They literally right. sold them all on instructions. But they looked really cool. He did a yeah splatter, uh, fire splatter series on instructions, and I thought that was really cool. But we got razors, but that's not that's a, just a red and white splatter, and then this open hostility is just yellow. Um, How big of a fan of winter are you? I'm not. I thought it was boring. I did too. I I, I kind of heard it for the first time like recently. Rock. Did like have you heard that for a while back or are you a noob to it I too? I heard it a while back, yeah. No, I had a uh no, I had a CDR or something with the owl and the demos or whatever. I just you know, it's uh, you know, it has its place. I just thought it was kind of boring. You know. Now are you getting all the uh, Super 8 or Super 7 action figures? Uh no, I wouldn't say go say, oh, here, here's one of my all-time favorite, my favorite records of all time. There you go. That's that's a repress on Peace Phil, but, uh, but yeah, this is one of my favorite death metal records of all time. From Buffalo, New York. Half me. So what would you say is the fraction, the ratio of when a, when orders are going out, uh, that it's something that you like? That somebody purchased, if that made any sense. Because you're at least look at those Baphomet CDs. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Good shit. Uh, I'd say I, I, stuff that I actually. Well, there's like, I think it's eh, and just straight up don't like at all. Let's say, would you? How would we define like? Like like I would buy it. Well, I'll just do well, it. Because well, why don't we make it easy? What is a straight up don't like? I'm pretty sure uh, there was a band called Runes of Beverest. <laughs> they had oh, a pretty. The, nice. Oh, I don't know if that's on this cart though. Do we sell any Runes of Beverest? I did not like that at all. Yeah, <laughs> they're selling every day. Uh, yeah, there is some Ruins. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is a band I do not like, but it sells really well. I like that cover art though. And and, and so what's the J Dog review of it? <laughs> I, I just thought like, why would anyone want this? Like why? Like it's just it? completely, singing, complete, no, completely nothing there. Like completely nothing. Like, I'm just like, what, like, why am I even listening to this? You know? <laughs> so if it, it's like the guy's watching right now, hey, I just arrived today! Oh, look at this. Fuck, J-Dog is like, record that got us all in the metal. Yeah, got, yeah. Got the horrors in the metal. Sacred Reich Ignorance. If you don't, this is one of, the, in my opinion, greatest thrash records ever. King Folly's like, fuck no. Wow, King Folly's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Dude, especially the demo, because uh, Draining You of Life on that, it it's like pretty, Phil sounds yeah. great. Uh, like it yeah, just, it sounds awesome. That was like the, the yeah, the mole. Look at this prick. Uh. <laughs> it's quite the party here at Hell's yeah. today. Uh, yeah, I mean, so, I don't know, in this part, I, I would say that I like and define the word like as in I would personally buy it. Yeah. Probably about, probably about 40%. More to scold? Is this yeah, it's new? an old band. That's the, is that the, oh, yeah, is that the new album? Is that their comeback? I don't know. Did they have no? That that can't be. You can just tell by the pictures. Mm -hmm. But uh, did they have a comeback? 
They did, yeah, yeah. They were, they were, they were uh, a band that was. Oh, bad. you know, speaking of comebacks, I you you didn't hear me earlier, or at least I didn't hear you reply. If you did, um, What's that? uh, cancer. Where the hell is it? Fuck's it up. Well, so they got a comeback, dude. Oh, I can't imagine it's good. Well, the cover's way better than the clown what, cover. I don't and then even it's know that. definitely better than the oil rig cover. You ever see the oil rig cover? Dude, that has to go in like, um, that's like a heavy metal relics theme right there. Half ass covers. <laughs> that would be number one is the, yeah. the oil rig cancer cover. Uh, you know what? I'll probably check it out just because we talked about it, but honestly, I, I would be shocked if I liked it. There you go. Well, sometimes I've been wrong. Like, uh, who right? Was Dude, it might be badass. No, I said that about Pentagram Chili. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that, that, that was really good. Uh, is that still in stock too? Like, because that probably comes back around. I don't know, but we've had it several times. Like, you'd have to check the shelf. Definitely not the LPs. LPs are definitely still out. Is that Maybe Pentagram Chili release uh, that we're talking about? That no, was badass. Was well, because they were always like a, just a demo yeah, band, and so when then they came back and 30 like years later, and essentially yeah. did all those demo songs, but then like added more songs no, that, to yeah, it. No, those are new songs. It's just there was that. Uh, was that's right. Then they did a re-recording of it, as which was basically tracks. I always uh, interpret that as like the. Uh, the album that you never they got did, of yeah, those. Bonus tracks, yeah, Cause, real, yeah real that's what it was. That that was sweet. And then I think even Schmier did like guest vocals on it and all that. Well, I don't know. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't read the booklet or anything. Cannonball album. Oh, destruction. Yeah. Dude, least successful. Le I mean, that should just be called the least successful cover. But uh, yeah, the, the least successful human cannonball. Let's see. When's the last time you pulled one of those, J Dog? Well, apparently somebody, I, and I think it's a bootleg, which is odd. Yeah. Somebody was like, you know what album needs to be available? <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's not here. That was the producer there shouting out uh, bad album covers. This is something back in stock. Now we're in the C section. Fuck, some prick put these in the wrong spot. Doesn't even know the name of his own damn band. Stick this in there. Get back to the tour. This is the most half-assed video ever, but that's okay. So was the last one here. We walked through and it was like done like this. <laughs> so here's you at least getting the wide angle selfie. But here, that's like the dude. If Kanye was alive, he'd be like, "That's the walk of metal, baby." Like walking through that aisle. This, this, is, this is a guy that has class. That bought this, shirt. this guy's intoxicated with. That's a guy that has class. <laughs> That's yeah. That's, fuck yeah. My book. <laughs> yeah. That, that's that's the uh, if you go to a, a restaurant where you got to dress up, that's the, the yeah, guy. That's, that's a dress code. That's Somebody a dress code. Get the fuck out of my party. <laughs> yeah. You got a massacre shirt. Well, that's, get that's, the fuck out of here. Well, that's that's these shirts that sold. That's so somebody bought that. I got to pack it up. Yeah. I love that. That's one of my favorite fucking designs. Like I own that. Fuck yeah. Is yeah. Wearing that podcast and then they put it out. Get the shirt. <laughs> yeah. That's great. That's one of my favorites ever. Yeah. Is that the hell demo? Oh, there's the root. Dude, oh, I thought th I thought this was uh, the Disaster album for no, a second that's, there. that's Root. Because it kind of looks like it, though. Ruins of Snoozer Fest. As I said, they're on every car. Dude, and they got, uh, they've got, like, several albums. Yeah. 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 Maybe, maybe you heard a bad album. Is it possible? I put Fala Semen or whatever. I didn't even make it past song one. I was like, dude, it was like 13 minutes long. I'm like, that's an older album, I'm too. Like, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm on song six. I go to shut it off. I'm like, I'm on track one. I'm like, what the fuck? Really? I was like, I was That boring old. or that long of a song? Or both? Both. Just both. <laughs> Just flat out. Gets to the fucking point. What's going on? This is stupid. <laughs> yeah. All, all the above. Nothing there. Nothing there. <laughs> Nothing there. Shit, getting back to life yeah. would have been on track five. Yeah. And your ears are going to be fucking hurting from all that awesomeness. You know who came up with the nothing there line, right? Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So yeah, so I'll finish up this part. This, oh yeah. This Get is back. All, you know, how to excite everybody thinks it's uh So where's an okay? Did you find an okay title? Oh just an okay title? Yeah. Cause oh, you I can so, find an okay. So we got shitty, that was Runes of Everest. Fucking love it, is massacre and uh destruction and all that good stuff. But so where's an okay? This card's, this card's almost finished though. I'm almost done. Like that's. Yeah, there there day, could still be okay on there. Usually that's the last order is an okay order. No? This is not a. This is a, a cool zine. Chip, okay. Chips and beer. Then there was a chromium dioxide, but I don't think uh, HH has those. I always think of that too when I see this zine, the chips and beer. Oh, this is okay. Freeable rot. 
it's more, you know, it's like the 20 bucks spin that. I mean, I like the cut vinyl color and I like the styles. I mean, that's really cool. Um, it, it's, you know, it's, it's more 90s death model. And I'm like, it, you know, it's okay because it's, it's the kind of music I like. But yeah. It's kind of like, you know, I've heard this a million times. So if you, unless you have uh, really, really strong songs, it's kind of like, you know, you know, a little snoot at the shop. <laughs> It's okay. But definitely, yeah, I wouldn't shut it off. I mean, it was smoke ruins. Smoke them. <laughs> send them home on a stretcher. Send that shit home in a body bag. Uh, well, definitely. I got bought a Hellhammer sticker. Fuck yeah. Look at that sharp ass sticker. Someone knew what was up. So that, that's a that's a, a classy guitar case to have that sticker yeah, on there. What, I'll show you. Yeah, show yeah, yeah. Show us around. Wow, well, that's not that much to show. I'll show you this. <laughs> See, Mel? Yeah, so if you need stickers for your car, look at these sharp ass fucking stickers. For your car, guitar case, Fuck yeah. whatever you, you look at, album so good they did censored and uncensored. Look at those <laughs> glossy, sharp ass fucking. Stuff. Gotta have both. <laughs> hey, we ain't done. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Carcass demo looking art. Back in the day. Fuck yeah. One of the most awesome records in history. D side, D side. D side. D side. Look at this. Wasn't that somebody else too? One of my personal J Dog favorite. Exhumed Gore Metal. Never heard about them on this. Fucking awesome. AKA Exhumed. Hellhammer again. Yeah. You were blasting Exhumed on when I was in here? He was. He walked in. That's what it was. It wasn't no ZZ Top. <laughs> Got mayhem. Scared grammar away with that when you go to the parties. I'm, dude, no. I mean, it scared somebody's uh, mother away. I remember uh, you talking about phone calls that I got. One of the most, one of the, my favorite records of all time. Yeah. Version. Look at this Slayer. Look at that fucking badass fan art. Oh, that fuck is yeah. sweet. Sweet as fuck. Face the F and Slayer hey, too. Face the F and Slayer. <laughs> That's all we got for stickers. But yeah, we got a. Uh, Done a bunch of receiving packs we got to yet. But you, do you know that one? Like, so talking about phone calls, the lady that called the one time was. Talking about, yeah, Dawn of the Black Hearts. Oh, yeah. She has a guy's head blown off. What awful music. Just awful music. <laughs> but that's just the way we like it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, sounds good. <laughs> yeah, good shit. Yeah, which I saw an LP of that, uh, Dawn of the Black yeah, Hearts. Yeah, I got it. Which, like, I mean, this is like, what, version? Version 20. Gotta have that color. Oh, wow, though. That's like the nicest I've seen. It's because Rika Death Records did it. Of course it's the nicest we've seen. That guy does awesome records. <laughs> Oh, but uh, yeah, so that's a, but those are, so there's two more up there, those are going out the door. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I don't know. What we got some there? okay, we, I think oh, we got, these are sharp, uh, with Vogel Records, are these? Another oh, one, yeah, yeah. Airman Sinister. And he's been doing a lot of those. those. Yeah, and these are really, really There goes that sticker. Oh, oh fuck, dude. Dude, out. dude, that guy getting that or is fucking pissed. Just, he just saw a live know. action version of it too. Get postcards in there though? Yeah, but I mean, uh, this is one of my uh, special, I'm a I'm a fan of a, a few a few others after this too, but like these first two, especially Diabolical Summoning, that's one of my favorite Death Metal records ever, ever, ever. What is it? Diabolical Summoning by Sinister. Oh uh, yeah. Cross the sticks and all that. Love it. Yeah, but yeah. So folks, look at these nice boxes. So if you like the sets and you like Sinister, which you should if you're watching this channel, you don't want that. I mean, I don't approve of the message on the back of that shirt. What shirt? Fuck me, Jesus. <laughs> the way he likes it. That was, and that's the one of the feather ruffles. So well, going yeah, back just, to those that's fifteen gonna, year olds that's gonna, though. That's gonna ruffle some feathers. Well, but but Marduk in general, because they they fought, they ref, they ref well, the feather ruffling of the you know the wimpy age was oh. that was with the uh, Bret Hart cover album. Bret Hart. What? Why were they? Yeah, at? Tommy, the the last Marduk, it has like that face on it. I think it's like Mordred or one of the guys from the band, but it looks like Bret Hart. Victoria. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Victoria. It's a good album. Oh. Did you? It says a guy's face with sunglasses. Yeah, yeah, but it, dude, it looks like Brett the Hitman Hart. <laughs> it's like, when did he join the band? He, I thought he was dead. <laughs> Wait, is it Brett or Owen that's dead? Owen's dead. Owen's dead. Fuck's all this shit. <laughs> and this is the, you got some, Jano, you got some guy on the internet right now going, look at that, look at that fucking metal ass door. I'm thinking look at that metal ass door. I mean, literally, it's aluminum. Uh -oh. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Look at that, look at that, look at that basket, dude. Poser's wimps, burning the pig. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Shit. Well, I love the stick. Posers, you got all the posers and wimps. Posers and you got wimps. Who are those posers? Posers are wearing Slipknot and Pantera and Alan Manson shirts. Posers and wimps. Hey, I like those bands. Posers and wimps? Same. A lot of posers and wimps, too. A lot of posers and wimps out there. So yeah, this kind of is the wall, but yeah, there's some good shit on there. It's yeah, like, you know, yeah. I mean, this shot. this is a uh, right there. That's awesome. That's a look. Face that and slur again. Yeah. 
Yeah. Slay them all, even the Metallica reference that it's referring to. Yeah. I mean, right, that, that's what you, well, I, I already know the answer to that, but I guess let's get it on record. What? Kill them all or fucking show no mercy. Show, oh, show no mercy is one of my favorite records of all time, yeah. by far. But don't you think even in like a, uh, just I don't know, like when you see like Maiden artwork and all that, like Slayer far more delivered on every aspect than like Metallica records. I always thought. I, I think Slayer as far as uh, it's just annoying to talk about them in a sense because they got so popular and they have some of the worst fucking fan base. Yeah. But uh, up to Bray and Blood Down, I think that's some of the greatest metal ever written in Mankind. <laughs> mankind. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> you know? So going back to go uh, back to the cart things, you said it really quick. Then, now that we got it, you know the latest and the greatest and the the shitty, the the, the mediocre, the best you and the worst. Be on your... See? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that awful music, that awful, just awful. Just, that awful. Why? I don't even know why she called that. Because she, she was like called, mad that her son, Ripley. dude, was like it was around Christmas at the time. I thought she was gonna order for. She called McDonald's and be like, "You sell those awful burgers." Just I mean, awful burgers. I was compelled to start doing some breaks like yeah. that. After that, it was great. But uh, oh. no, she was saying that uh, her son used her credit card without her permission. If my memory serves me right. Bought some good shit. And then uh, bought some good shit, to, but she didn't find it good. And then she was like inquiring about a return or something. It was like. Uh, get your house in order, woman, if you don't like, like Sounds like you got what you ordered. It sounds like you got some fine titles. Could have got yeah. Rudy Pepperass. would have been really offended. If we delivered really... the product that you ordered. <laughs> like, it's not our just fault. Be, just be happy you ordered something good. Yeah. That, that, yeah. that would have occurred. Like, ma'am, let me send you this. <laughs> You're one of those yeah. Yeah. wimps. <laughs> yeah. Decide which one you are, the poser or the wimp. <laughs> that's pretty funny about that cover. I thought it was so. hilarious. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. I loved it. God, I was like, that's got to go on the wall. So what's the process though? And you said because you were like, I'm on day one or all that. I just figured the folks might yeah, enjoy uh, the well, these, the day in the life these of Howdy. These are Werewolf Records title. These Yimers, you know, some black metal. It sounds like '90s black metal people like. Yeah. We uh, we sold all of them in pre-orders, so it really backed us up. So right now we're really behind in orders. That's unusual. You usually don't sell, you know, a thousand records in pre-orders. That's pretty fucking insane. Yimer, Y M I R. Yeah. So we'll have a repress of those in uh, September. The but like I said, it's Werewolf Records, not us. It's just it all it comes to here. And we distribute it for them. But uh, Werewolf's been finding some bands that people they really, really like. Yeah, like. They, uh, Yimer, Vargas, obviously Goat Moon. People always liked um, some of the other ones that were really, really popular. The Satanic Warmaster, then. So, yeah, of course. But that's yeah, it's his band. So when shit comes back in after a while, obviously, then like and, and you know you go through and the, you don't have to mail it back out. Oh, and the guy's not that's replying. But that's what you're describing to anybody yeah, who's watching this half-ass video. Yeah, just got returned the mail because USPS fucking sucks a dick. And uh, you, you email the guy. You surely you think you want his stuff. Yeah. No reply. So I just assume dead or in jail. So we shelled him. But I give him three months. My thing is, is when the pack comes in after the email, you get three months. If you don't reply, you're dead or in jail. Reply after that, go go suck a dick. <laughs> Dead. So Plus there I'm you go. How long does it take to reply to an email? Customer service. Yeah, like it's, been three months. it's been three months. How long you do you try? No, I get yeah, it. I get it. I'm trying. Try, 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 what try. else do you do? Well, am I supposed to wipe the guy's nose too? I mean, this I play. I mean, there's a lot of boxes as you can see. So yeah. you can't. You, you, you got to make decisions. It's like, yeah, what, exactly. what the fuck yeah, am I gonna do with this? Got time to be fucking around all. You know? Yeah. Then the DHL guy it's comes gone. in. He's taking it out. Then and shipping it again. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, that's the end of the process, I think. Yeah. That's so, so well, I guess you know, because you're holding a slip then, so that yeah, somebody like pulls the cart. This guy bought four. Yeah. But somebody pulls the cart then, well, and then you grab an individual yeah. order. No, I'll show you. Yeah. Because I don't think uh, I don't think we ever really did anything like, like this. Also, like for example, like this would have been, this would have been the yesterday's list. This is an alphabetical list, you know, with each format. So you have a uh, CD like. So like. Okay. So CD start here. So like, here's a chunk of shirts. CD start here. Yeah. Boom, 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 down, down, down to the next page. It's an alphabetical order. So you pull it. It's all alphabetical order on a, on like a you know, grocery cart. Yeah. And then once that's all pulled, you wheel it over here and each order, you know, so like this, is, this is James. There's his Admiral. address too. <laughs> yeah. Like he, you know, he, this is. An is he getting any junk? <laughs> no, he bought a hooded sweatshirt, a banner, no some slipknot. buttons. No, no, no slipknot. No poser or wimp on there? No poser or wimp. You don't even so. sell slipknot. No, no, we don't. Yeah. I hope, I hope we don't either. I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> but out. We're back. So Stas was awesome, though. They cut out my Stas talk? Talking about... Probably. Probably. Got a phone, got, got a damn phone damn call interrupting the shit. But you, you know, some, production. Sh some shithead calling that doesn't even have your number. <laughs> is, this, is this Reaper I'm talking to? You call me, homie. <laughs> talking about Stas a moment ago. You call me about stupid shit. <laughs> 
This is a new chill in technology. Yeah, brand new album cassette, yeah. We did CDs, LPs, and uh, it says LPs almost sold out, but uh, the colored version sold out actually in pre-orders. Well, almost. They're like almost all gone. We did like 200. And I think it's on, it's on a colored vinyl with like a seven inch as well, bonus seven inch. Those sold out really, really fast. We have a few black vinyls left and then have the CDs in the set. So yeah, that is the newest album. Um, and then after it's pulled, it's put over there. When it's packed, yeah. Then it's packed by the finest. Yeah. Now the blue is the color though for like the new people, right? So that everybody knows whose first day is on the job and all that stuff. And then yellow is like for the veterans and the red. Still not, you're not going by that system anymore? No. Oh. It was like that when I was here, oh, but yeah. okay. I don't even remember that. Whew. Total inside joke, that's fine. Are these banners or leggings or pants or scrunchies? Or, that? that's oh, banner. that's drug, drug. Yeah, drug, drug, drug banner, yeah. Yeah, right on. Did everybody, do you recall everybody loving that band or was that like a recent thing? Because I remember that, I recall it as being like a recent thing. It's in the last three years type of thing, yeah. Yeah. But to their defense, who knows got that? Because they got them several albums now. Maybe when you were thinking that they were on their first album or someone, no one cared. Yeah. But now, yeah, they're pretty popular. There's a diaper sticker, by the way. Diaper? Oh, yeah. I always figure that's a, you know, diaper. Like with the kid, And it's just a kid's face shirt. on the cover? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that still in stock? That's one of the, that goes with least successful human cannibal as well. That, that's a bad cover right there. It's, oh, like, exactly. it's like, honestly, it might be great, but it was so bad looking. I was like, I don't even want to like this. Oh, yeah. Hey, here's a Reap Dog fuck yeah, uh for a customer order going out. This Eternal Solstice. That is good. That's uh, that, good that, shit right there. That was, uh, I think that came out like 94, that album. Um, yeah. That is good shit. Yeah, Vic Records. I got it. Vic Records is known, known for doing some uh, shit J Dog likes. <laughs> well, that, should be, that should be like their mile. Selling point for them. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> you've been in business since whatever. Known for putting out shit J Dog likes. Yep. How big of a fan of Haunt are you? Uh, it's, it's quality heavy metal. Um, they got a lot of fucking yeah, albums. Not, Damn. I, it's, it's quality music. I enjoyed them live. And. Um, Tell us what it's, you really think. No, I think it's quality metal. I think it's. I think your mom would really appreciate it. So if you have a poker party with a bunch of uh, family members, you don't want to offend them on like J Dog. Don't give a fuck. You want to be okay? You can put that. That was on. that uh, six-year-old girl's yeah. birthday party. Yeah, I would personally just put the mask on and say, "You don't. You don't like it? Catch a fucking cab." Uh, <laughs> I do know uh, that. But so if you want to be respectful, you could put on that, and it's still some you know heavy metal music. But at least you know mom, grandma, any unkies, cousin Joey, they'll like them. You know what I mean? <laughs> I do know what so, you mean. But like it's, said, it's a party pleaser. Yeah, party pleaser. Yeah, yeah. But no, I mean it's quality. But I mean, if it's me, if I got if I got mask or I got haunt, that's the color I need. You know, well, one line. If I got if I got haunt or I got Hamage, yeah, Hamage. Yeah. You know, that's me. All right. Well, let's go see what uh, the producer was doing over in the corner to get on the full. Cause it's been a moment too. Ahoy. It's been a moment since I've been down here, so it's been a moment it's since been a moment. you've been seen around. So you're just slaving over here in the corner. So yeah, uh, occasionally I will get pallets sent here because uh, pallets to the house are Redefining uh, Darkness uh, records and seeing, seeing red. Records, yeah. Housed under the same roof, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, obviously. That's on, a, that's on a homeboy hookup, Reap. I don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hookup. So yeah, I'm. Uh, just kind of going through, did inventory on what's here and what should be here, and uh, now I'm marking the boxes to be packed away. Stowed, as they in say on airplanes. Rafters, yes. You're stowing them in the overhead compartments. Oh wow, there's still more Faith Extractor LPs up there. Where? Gotta grab them, folks, right up oh, there. Nice. Yeah, Proverbial yeah. lambs. It's a good one. Get them while they're hot. Um, Oh, I got some good. You got Vomitor. Yeah, Pounder. There. I didn't realize there was another Pounder album. Yeah, it came out a couple months ago. Matt Harvey from Exhume. There's that. Uh, you guys released that? Yeah. Oh, well, Shadow Kingdom. Shadow oh, Kingdom. Yeah, yeah it's uh, a band. Yeah, Holy yeah. hell, is this a repress or is this a return? It's a repress, yeah. We I was going to say, that's an oldie. They're not supposed to be sitting there. That's, 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 that's uh, a, a, a dirty version of a. Version. Oh, that's a tweet. But hey, uh, yeah. so we just tell them, like, you Oh, trying to. Oh, there's, oh. A, there's a there's a there's a repress of both putrid cover and gyre cover. Yeah. And there's a putrid cover, gyre cover, a picture disc each. Oh. Four versions. Oh. Check show them those slick ass <laughs> picture discs that I said to do eight years ago, and that's how long it took because people <laughs> suck. Uh, okay. Go show them. You know the seven are. Don't play stupid on me. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first. Well, it's my uh my second day on the job. Okay. The hell's this? A Slayer like 
Halloween decoration, essentially. So here they be. Oh, okay, so I see it right here, yeah. So there's the putrid side, yeah. Pretty awesome looking? Yeah. Did you find a picture of this though? No, but I'm looking. Oh, okay, yeah, there's the colored vinyl. You can kind of see, oh, oh shit! That one beat the fuck now, I'm buying that one, I guess. Um, okay, I, yeah, I found it. That's okay. Oh, that's cool. I don't know. Adobe Coyote, uh. I'm not really. Oh, there it is. The organization's a little. There we go. Cool. And then they come with the insert, then. So, four different versions. There they are. Here's the rest of the seven inches. So, basically, from head to toe. More, more, more. Boxes, boxes, boxes. Be seeing this uh, in an upcoming documentary of sorts too. What hell's that bangers? Yeah, this that shot right there. Only a. Uh, like the hallway of metal, essentially. It goes all the clear, clear to the back then. And then, that's the ends. there's the doorway. But then here are the tapes. So pick up that black thing, you need it. Two on one cassette. That red cassette, red, I can't talk. Red cassette tape case, because you need a clarification. So there we go. That was a very half-assed video, but maybe it was cool. It seemed like it could be cool. You're in, you're in, you're in my section now, baby. Oh yeah? I was wondering why all the junk was all up. Uh, I saw runes of Beverus and all. No. <laughs> so yeah, humanity is cancer. That's what he does. He labels them up. Holy, holy death. When'd you do that? The Polish band? No, no. Ah, see, even he was disappointed when I realized it wasn't the day. <laughs> you heard him, no, no. There's the ghost uh, puzzles. Shit, man, that, it, I mean, I get Judas Priest being a puzzle form, but ghost, like, I thought it took at least 30 years to be making a puzzle of your album. But, hey, that's cool. What do you think about the, uh, the jigsaw puzzles, Tommy? Uh, yeah, I'm not, not so into them. Yeah? No. You don't think it's uh I think Jade all wants gonna laugh at these guys. These guys were awesome. Black metal band. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> always, uh, always cracks me up every time. Yeah, I, see I especially them. love this guy. Yeah. Uh, Maniac, Maniac Butcher, Butcher <laughs> dude. Some of the <laughs> yeah. finest black metal videos or uh, music video you can see. Oh yeah, you music see. videos? I didn't even know that. One of theirs. I just thought this cover's always closed on. Oh dude, like, it's what? great. It's great. Yeah. There was a, all their covers are classics. Uh, I saw another one. Oh look at this. Iron Pace we press this. Oh I mean, I'm a huge fan of this. Yeah, Terra Braxis. Yeah, huge fan. But, uh, yeah, this is just a 12 inch Maxi LP that came out. Uh, shit, this is like early 2000s. Uh, Funny Press it recently. Big, big fan. Yeah, yeah. I gotta have, well, shit, I'm gonna have to go do some shopping then, because uh, I was just thinking I'm gonna need that. Angel Corpse just came in. Angel uh, Corpse. Records. Yeah, they repressed yeah, repress them. More of them. Did they do it? So they did even a, a, another repress from the repress of the repress? Yeah, but that was about five years ago now. But they repressed the first three albums on a different color now. Mm -hmm. Which Angel Corpse, the first three Angel Corpse are something like, uh, I, I keep saying that about everything, but I guess shit. We've talked about them. But um, yeah, always been a big, big uh, yeah, fan of the first three Angel Corpse. Yeah. Cool. Like, for example, The Inexorable, the third album, which is my favorite album by them, I think that has some of the best blast beats in death metal history. And then there's an album you don't like, the last one. Uh, what's that? No, no, I don't dislike anything. Oh. Their comeback album, I just definitely. I, I, it took a while of Lucifer and Lightning. Um, I liked it, but it wasn't like. It, it wasn't the same. I mean, it, it, my socks were on, but I liked it. It took a little while, to, you know, for me to. Socks <laughs> Cool. Um, well, there you go. That's the tour. That's the update. That's the latest and the greatest. We'll be getting down back to business, but uh, just figured, hey, we might as well do something special while I was here, oh. utilize this. Uh, the last time we did a Hell's Headbangers tour was a, a half-assed video, so why not do another one, that is. So, uh, producers got some great things happening. 
We've got some Tommy Victor. We've got some. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Angel Corpse. Don't jinx it. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot of great things happening. Clearly, J Dog's stoked doing whatever the hell he's doing, and I'm rambling on. So that'll be that. Subscribe, like, share. Don't crush. Don't do any of the DBE stuff. And we'll talk to you next time.